Hello, recording this video of Ghoul RC RS150A ESC that appears to be dead on arrival. I've had it a few days now and I just can't get anything, can't get it to do anything really. Um, it, uh, it's not come with any manual and nor can I find any instructions on the internet. Um, not even on Google RC website, which incidentally doesn't even look like it's working correctly. So I'm at a complete loss as to how I'm supposed to get this thing to work. Um, it works to an extent. Obviously the radio can see it, so if I turn it on, the um, receiver lights up and steering works and whatnot. But absolutely nothing on the throttle. Nothing whatsoever. Um, again programming it I'm at a loss there's a set button here and most ESC's you push your finger on the set button turn it on the LED should start flashing but it doesn't it just goes to blue um, doesn't matter how long you keep your finger on that set button um, it just never seems to do anything uh, I mean you can hear the fan spinning up and it I don't know, it's, it's, it's getting, well clearly it's getting power, I've tried different batteries. But anyway, I've still got my finger on the set button, let go of it, but, but nothing. So you, normally you would, you would pull the throttle and start programming it, but it just, it just doesn't do anything. It's just dead. Completely dead from a throttle point of view. Uh, but as I say, I've no idea if it's the ESC is at fault or if I'm doing something wrong um, because I just don't have any instructions. It, it came with no manual. Um, it's just, it's frustrating. It really is frustrating. Um, turn it off and back on. But nothing. Nothing whatsoever. No throttle. I mean, when you turn it on, it is supposed to beep to tell you how many lipos is plugged in. In this case, we're, we're running a 4S, uh, but nothing, no beeps. If I try a different, um, I can try a different battery just to show you. I've got one here. This is a 3S. Let's plug it in. So. Same thing, just completely doesn't want to do anything. Really, really frustrating. Anyway, but there you go. In my advice, don't buy one of these Ghoul RC RS150As because A, they don't appear to be very good quality and B, there is absolutely no information on the internet as to how to make this thing work. Cheers, bye.